Hello Cancer, this is Deborah, Deborah Clare Channel Guidance, and we are into June. Unbelievable, I'm nearly halfway through the year, how did that happen? <laughs> it is so good to be with you, I hope everyone is well, I hope you and yours are well, wherever you are in the world, whatever you are doing. Um, hello to my cross watchers, I know you guys are there, so welcome too, and if you haven't subscribed, it'd be wonderful if you did. It enables me to keep these readings going out on YouTube for you. Now, Cancer, I've been sitting meditating with a deck. Um, I've just been hearing um, the line of a song. It might even be a hymn over and over and over again. And I think the words, I haven't looked it up, maybe wrong, but I think the words are, swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Now, what is interesting about that is that, of course, the chariot card in the deck is your card of Cancer, okay? So a very interesting visual and clairaudient message from Archangel Michael. So let's see where this goes. That is all I'm going to be channeling through. Michael's nodding at me. Yes, he's here. He's saying that is your message. Sweet chariot coming forward to carry me home. Now, there could be an indication that someone here is thinking about going home, going back to your roots. Maybe someone here, Cancer, is wanting to come home to you. This could be somebody that you're separated from. This could be, you know, um, a love who maybe works overseas or maybe is in the military, something like that. It could be that you have separated or even divorced from someone and they are having regrets and they're kind of wanting to come home. <laughs> so, Cancer, whatever this is, oh, I've just seen the Page of Cups flip out. Mm, interesting. A message of love, a message of apology. Somebody here is wanting to come home. Now, this could be switch cancer. You could be wanting to go home to someone. There is definitely a message about home here, okay? And you guys are all about home. Very nurturing, very loving, very giving. Um, so let's see what the reading comes out at, okay? Here we go. Michael, please be with me in this reading, as always, providing your guidance and to protect my energy. Please surround me with psychic light. Thank you, Michael. I felt a very dark shadow come over, and um, when that happens, I always need to protect my energy and my light. Uh, interesting. Under the deck is the sun. Now, the sun is global travel. The sun is awakening. The sun is enlightenment. It is also moving forward with a lot of happiness. Okay. All right. Mm. Yeah, there's definitely been tension in a situation. Could be about a Leo. Sun is, is Leo, just looked under the deck, right? Um Wow. Cancer. Okay. Yes. Whoever is in your environment is very stressed, Cancer, because I think they feel as if they have hurt you, let you down, um, caused you heartbreak in some way. Oh, wow. When I place that card there, I'm actually hearing the word hope, hope, hope. There is hope for reconciliation. OK, yeah, somebody's been doing a lot of thinking about a situation. Um, ready to step off. What's the word, Michael? This pedestal and lower their ego and talk to you. This could have been someone that you were involved with, Cancer, who had a very strong ego. We have Aquarius, Virgo, Aries shown in particular. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Underneath the deck, as always, is the sun. Okay. As it was before. Mm. So this could have been an argument about someone having an affair. Okay. With a Leo. 
or across the water in another place, another state, another city, and the tower came in. You might have dealt with a tower moment. I keep hearing the word hope, Cancer. If this is your situation, there is definitely hope on the horizon. But you're feeling very betrayed, backstabbed. You're feeling as if it is totally over. But just so that you know, even though your person you may feel is headed off in a different direction, they are carrying a very heavy burden. They haven't put it down yet. And they're looking at you, okay? They know that they possibly caused you heartbreak and they may be wanting to come in to say, look, I'm sorry, I'm going to step off my pedestal. I was sitting in ego. I'm sorry for what happened. I want to sort this out. Somebody wants to come home, Cancer. Okay, so this could be a very, very beautiful reading. Let's move straight in, okay? All right. Let's just move the camera a fraction. Yeah, keep keep hearing sweet chariot coming coming forward to carry me home. They want me to come home, Cancer. So we start off with conflict, okay? Five of Wands. Other people in the mix, arguments, disagreements, could be family members involved as well. Um, or you had to make a decision as to whether or not you were going to try and work on a partnership in a conflict because there might have been another woman in the mix. Okay, Queen of Wands in reverse. This is a woman who has now uh, moved out of the picture. So this woman is now not in the picture. This might have been a karmic um, connection. Okay, this could have been the other woman or another woman that came in between you and your person and there were arguments about this. And your person might have said that situation is over now, that person is no longer in my life, we're no longer in contact. Um, now, if you are sitting in the Queen of Wands energy, can say you could have fire strongly in your chart. This is you, very angry and upset. And I do feel that it's because you found out that there was some, some deception in a partnership. You were with someone and they might have stepped out and you found out about this or they admitted the truth to you. And you had to make the decision, what is going to happen here? In the past, with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, your person could have admitted that they stepped out, they were unfaithful, okay? But they might have relayed to you that whoever the third woman was in the mix, they didn't offer that person commitment. This is your other half saying, look, I know I stepped out is a one night thing. It was periphery. It was just because I was away from you. There could be distance between the two of you. It didn't mean anything. And I definitely did not want to move into a partnership with this woman, with this person. I didn't offer this person commitment. I'm not in love with this person. It was just a one off situation. And I am not wanting to move into a commitment with anyone else but opening up. After that time, Cancer, you may have been sat in just fear, fear that it's going to happen again, they're going to be unfaithful again. Um, and I think you were very much caught up in your thoughts about this. Does this, does this person really no longer factor in to my partner's life? Is this person really out of the picture? Is my person really telling the truth? How can I trust them? Stress causing you to stay up in your thoughts. Talking about you being in your head, in your thoughts, two of wands. Trying to make a decision at this time, standing at crossroads, looking at two options. And I'm feeling one is to try and get this relationship back on track to try and rebuild the trust or to detach from your person, whether that's just moving out of a committed relationship or going through divorce separation and moving in a different direction. This is what you're thinking about now in a conflict about someone else in the mix that somehow I feel that your person has been involved with. Now, Cancer, this could be you. This could be you, okay? 
This could be you moving out of the energy of being someone else's mistress and arguments because your partner found out. Whatever the scenario, remember I'm just the messenger, guys, okay? Archangel Michael, when is the energy coming through in the immediate future? Yes, Michael, timely, thank you. Middle of August. He's now saying... He's now saying three, and he, I'm seeing July in my head. So maybe the third week of August to the middle... Third week, sorry, third week of July to the middle of August. Thank you, Michael. Um, we're looking, Cancer, at you sat in the Ten of Swords. Okay, not an easy, comfortable energy. This is you feeling that you might have to completely let this go. Um, it could be that at this point you realise, having done a lot of thinking, I just cannot rebuild the trust. I don't trust my person anymore. I think they're going to be unfaithful again. I really don't feel this other woman or this other person is out of the mix. I have to let this go. This is you deciding to let the swords fall. Okay, this is the end. You may have a conversation with your person to say, look, I'm sorry. It might have been a one-off thing. You might have been away from me many miles away when this happened. It might not have meant anything to you with this other person. But as far as I'm concerned, this connection with us is over. And I think you are the one that makes that decision. In your person's energy cancer, and you may feel they deserve it if they're the one that stepped out, they are sat in the Ten of Wands. They are super stressed. They're very, very burdened because they feel that you have called time. That's it. They feel it's completely over. But they are still looking on your direction kind of hoping that you'll get up and say, okay, all right, let's try and work on this. They are hoping for that. They're looking at you, understanding how much pain they caused you and really hoping that you will change your mind. You may not. For some of you, you may not. But I'm getting a feeling, Cancer, that your person really doesn't want to end this. This would be your person putting down the burdens, walking away, thinking, okay, it's over. They don't. They're still hanging on to this burden, which is, I've hurt my cancer. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to mend the situation. But you're both looking at sitting in a 10. I mean, you know, the end of a cycle. But in this particular car, that burden has not yet been put down. Your person is still hanging on to this hope, the spark of hope, to get things going with you again. As far as you're concerned though, I think you feel this really is over. It's over. The Ten of Wands is also fire energy cancer. You could have been connecting to a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aries and Leo shown here. In your fears, Cancer, fearing that you may have to move out of a property, a property may need to be sold, which may indicate that this is actually a marriage that is now dissolving, that is potentially on the rocks. Worried, am I going to have to leave my house? Am I going to have to find somewhere else to live? Fearing the loss of your stability. Fearing the loss. In your hopes, despite what you said to your partner, Cancer, you are hoping to heal the situation. You could be hoping that an Aquarius comes back with an apology, wanting to work on it. But I feel, Cancer, because you've been through such a lot with this person, it could be that you're now in a very strong position in terms of the fact that if they're the ones that stepped down on you and this is why things ended, you are not going to take them back until they are literally on their knees groveling for your forgiveness. This is not going to be a situation that you are going to reconsider if there's just a paltry, look, I'm sorry, can we just put it in the past? Can we move on? No, you expect this person 
to promise you faithfully that this is never, ever going to happen again. And until they do that, I think that you will be comfortable in many ways in moving through closing the situation out. Because I think this was so traumatic for you that you just could not deal with this happening again, ever. But inside, in your heart of hearts, you may be hoping for this person to come back into your life or you're hoping that somehow you can heal the connection. But it will take a lot of time, apologies, proving themselves from your other person for you to even consider getting this back on track because of what you went through. Now, Cancer, in the outcome, we've got the Ten of Cups. Two or three messages coming from this card, okay? First of all, this could be you two talking to each other about ending a long-term situation. But this is potentially you saying to your person, look, I still have love for you. We have family around us. We might have kids, right? You might have kids. You've got to think about the kids. I feel that this is totally over. It may be that we have come to the end another 10 of this relationship. But let's not make a, any hard and fast major decisions yet. So for instance, if you guys were actually married or had a house together, same sex, whatever this is, it could be that you say to your person, look, as far as I'm concerned, it is over emotionally and they are really stressed. They feel that that is really it. But it could be that you both agree not to actually move into, say, the divorce process or selling a house that you both live in until you've both had time to really think about this. Because I think in your heart of hearts, Cancer, you don't want this to end. You don't. Not really. Not really. I think you're very hurt. I think you feel betrayed. I think you're very upset. But I do feel that there is still love that you have for your person and your person is hugely stressed because they feel that there's no way that you two can come back from the situation, possibly due to their infidelity. But they are still hanging on, hoping that you may, may reconsider and knowing that cancer, you may well just decide, OK, Let's, you know, not call the lawyers immediately. Let's not speak to the kids about separation. Um, let's not put the house on the market quite yet. Let's just give it some time. Give it a few weeks. Give it a couple of months. Until we are both absolutely certain. But I do feel, Cancer, that this is something that you can mend. It's not going to be easy. For some of you, this is no. In a few months time, you'll think, no, I just, I really can't, can't do this. For some of you, you will hang on to this connection and try and rebuild. Clarification. We have the hermit. This is somebody going through a lot of soul searching. This could be your person. We have Virgo energy. This is someone thinking about what they did to you, maybe. Thinking about what they want for their future. Thinking about how to solve a situation. This person could have just spent some time in isolation on their own, thinking about things. You may have said to this person, I just don't want to see you for a few weeks. Go and stay with friends, family, whatever this is. If this is long distance, then this would have been almost a blessing in disguise if this is a long distance relationship, because this person may well have gone back to where they maybe temporarily lived and done some serious thinking. This person was sat previously in some ego. Your person might have been very attractive, had lots of people running after them and enjoyed the attention, the affection, the adulation and fell into 
maybe a one night stand, maybe a very short lived affair. But they have now fallen from grace, right? They've fallen off the pedestal that maybe you put them on cancer and they are doing some inner soul searching. Who am I really? I'm not this person. I sat in ego. It was my fault this has gone under. Really thinking about what they've done, okay? So if you wondered whether or not this person feels remorse, yes, they absolutely do. I think they feel they've screwed up big time and they really don't know what to do to get things going again with you. We have underneath that the fall in reverse. I feel this is your energy, Cancer. I think you are not ready, for some of you, to wipe the slate clean. Okay, let's do this. Let's take a leap of faith. Let's head off. Maybe relocate. Start again. I just feel that this was almost too much for you. Which may be why you're sat in the Ten of Swords. This person may be saying, okay... Let's see if this can change, if we can change the situation. For some of you, you will realise, even though you, wouldn't put, you won't put official plans in progress to end the connection legally, telling other people, you know that you just can't come back from this. And you may well decide to speak your truth to your partner, could be an Aries, about this. I just don't think we can come back from this. If this is the energy of your person, they may be this um, may they they can't speak. They could be an Aries. They're very unbalanced because they understand that you are not going to allow them second chance. So I'm feeling this is different for maybe two groups of you. Some of you will give this time. Others of you will decide very quickly that you can't come back from this. But just so that you know, Cancer, this person. Think back at the visual. This person wants to come home. Coming for to carry me home, sweet chariot, right? So I think it's up to you. It's up to you whether you'll let this person come home. Or whether or not you're going to let this go. Okay. Let's move into the Kipper deck to see what else comes through. So Archangel Michael, can we have some information, please, for my lovely Cancerians? Thank you. Reading for June. Side sounds, guys. Okay, let's have a look. Mature man. So we have somebody here who could be your person. Could be a mature man, could be a man sort of in his 40s, 50s, okay, older maybe. And we've got distant horizons. So this could be representative, representing, representing, can't speak, sorry, <laughs> the fact that the two of you lived a distance. This could be somebody working in the forces, uh, was sent away for work in another place. Maybe the salary was a lot higher, maybe they sent money home, that sort of energy. Privileged lady. Now, Cancer, this might be you, okay? You may feel that you've lived a good life, okay? You might have been able to stay at home, look after your children, and there might have been money coming in for you. We have the lovers. Definitely a choice between two people or somebody 
had a love, love connection with someone else. Now, there could have been a privileged lady in the mix, but I am feeling that this is your energy. I am particularly connecting with someone who might have been codependent, as in, you know, stayed at home, looked after the children, somebody went out to work, brought in the money. Okay. Interesting. We have mature woman. Now, this could be you. This is underneath, privileged lady. And we have mature man. We have a couple. We have a couple here. And we have marriage. So this is a married couple. Mature man, mature woman. Marriage. Now, that makes me feel that maybe this privileged lady was someone who might have been wealthy, might have money, might have lived a very nice lifestyle. And maybe your person, your partner, Cancer, was kind of drawn in, might be drawn into the lifestyle towards this woman. When you were sat at home thinking about your marriage. And you now have to make a decision. Whether or not you're going to mend this, give this person the benefit of the doubt, or decide it was too much, it was too much, I have to walk away. It will be your decision cancer because this person is still hanging on to you emotionally all right so people difficult reading challenging energy but um if you want more guidance and this is your story you can always reach out we can see where this goes see what might happen for you in the future um i'm also on instagram deborah claire channel guidance and i shall be back very soon for your next tgif reading thank god it's friday see you then Bye then.